Hey everybody, it's RF Tech Guy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Creality 3D Slicer. Now, I ended up uh, getting two machines, so I have the the CR10 V2, and I also have the um, the Ender 3. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where to get this uh, the software. So as soon as you buy your, your Creality, it actually tells you where to get it from. We're going to be going to Creality, the Creality website here. You're going to go all the way over here to support on the right hand side. And we're going to go down to download. And then you're going to scroll down and go down to software here. And right here you have uh, two different slicers that you can get. Alright, so you're just going to pick the one that's right for you and uh, download that and then uh, and that's it. And you can get started on uh, setting up your, your slicer. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open up a file. I have this uh, Mandalorian helmet that I've been wanting to print. But unfortunately it's going to take a lot of time to print it. So I'm going to start off with the... Um, with a two piece and we're going to start off with the left side here. Now this Mandalorian uh, helmet I actually downloaded from Thingiverse. You can find a lot of cool things on there so if you don't know how to design your own uh, parts you can just go on to Thingiverse and get them from there. Just make sure to tip the artist. And you you pretty much just tip, them, uh, tip the artist whatever you think is fair. So yeah this is the Thingiverse website. They have a lot of cool things on here so like I said, if you don't know how to um, create your own parts, you can always go on here and, and find them. They got the Iron Man helmet. They got a lot of really cool things on here. Alright, so this part right here, I originally intended to print the Mandalorian helmet with a silver uh, with a silver PLA, but that metallic material tends to take a lot more time to print out. Now, I'm going to set it up for you, and, uh, and I'm going to show you actually how long it takes. But so far, this seems like it's the best setting for the for the Mandalorian helmet. This will take about uh, three days to print. Uh, this thing could print the CR10 V2 can actually print up to 200 hours. I really don't like leaving my printer set up for that long for uh, for three days, but but I think this is going to be the the only way to print this helmet. Well, if you see the print time, this is why you, uh, a lot of uh, people that have 3D printers uh, have multiple 3D printers. They have more than two. That's a hint. <laughs> I'm getting a dirty look right now. For each PLA you buy, you're going to have the recommended settings. I mean, you could actually go to Amazon and you'll find the recommended settings on there for the for the print. So this is the metallic uh, material that I got for my uh, Mandalorian helmet. But if we scroll down here, we could see the recommended settings. 205 to 230 degrees. I can show you right now. I um, I have been having some issues printing this. The um, normal white PLA actually seems to print a lot better. Maybe I, I have to adjust the settings a little bit more. But I've been printing at 215 degrees for the nozzle. 60 degrees Celsius for the, for the bed. Well, I haven't been turning down the cooling fan or turning off the cooling fan. Maybe that's one thing I could try. I adjusted the print speed down to about 30. Another thing I could do is, is take it down to about 20. But you're going to see that it's going to slow your prints a lot, uh, down a lot. And when printing something as big as a Mandalorian helmet, uh, that's going to take way too long. So I'll show you here. We're going to take this up to about 215. Yeah, 215 is good. And then we're going to go, we only want the support material touching the build plate. The bed temperature, but we're going to take it up to 60. And I'm going to leave the layer, the layer height at 2. This is the resolution here. Um, if you put it at 1, it's going to take, it's going to take a lot longer. Um, probably about twice the time to print one item. All right, so with those settings the way they are, it's still gonna take about 71 hours. One of the cool things about the CR10 is, the CR10 V2 is that it has a sensor on it, so if you ever actually run out of filament mid-print, uh, it'll automatically pause the print for you and you just 
add in the, the new filament. So if I was to print this in a metallic material, I would probably cut down to about uh, 25 to uh, 30 print speed. So we're going to do 25 because I did 30 and it didn't seem to work. If I was to print this Mandalorian helmet in a metallic PLA just for this half of the helmet, it would take 106 hours. So yeah, it's it's not looking uh, likely that I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to print it in a basic PLA and we're just going to sand it down and paint it. And that way if there's any mistakes, I could cover them up with the paint. So I think that, that would be my best option there. But when printing smaller items, the metallic PLA is actually pretty good. It actually looks uh, really cool on the smaller items. So we're going to take this back up to print speed 50, which is the normal setting. Uh, take it up to 200. And we're um, moving the bed temperature down to uh, 40 degrees Celsius. Now, yeah, even uh, even if it's not a metallic PLA, every f uh, some filaments just have different temperature settings on them. Um, some of them are 200 degrees, some of them are, are 205 and up. So just make sure you look at the settings on your uh, on your filament before uh, you start your print. And that'll probably save you a lot of grief. So I'm going to end up printing it like this with the um, support material only touching the build plate. And we're just going to go to save the G code. And you always want to go to save G code because this, this is what your uh, printer can actually read and we're gonna save it onto our Creality um, SD card. All right, so this print is gonna take about six days, I guess, to print, so it's probably not gonna happen anytime soon, but when I do actually print this, I will show you uh, the completed helmet. There's a lot more pieces than just these two, uh, but these are the two that are gonna take the longest. Um, right now, I got a bunch of orders going on for uh, some 3D prints, so uh, if you want to see uh, what I'm doing constantly, you can check out my Instagram. It's uh, rf.3dprints on Instagram. Leave a lot of likes on this video. Share this video if you guys want me to get another uh, Creality Ender 3 V2 because that's a new um, Creality Ender that's coming on. It's a, it's a small 3D printer, and uh, I am actually um, I actually kind of want to get that and try that one out. That one's seems pretty cool. I will be leaving links in the description on where you could get the $500 um, CR10 V2. Uh, I had had no issues with the CR10 V2. Um, it's actually been very user friendly for me. Uh, the Creality Ender 3, I had to put that thing together in a bunch of little pieces that you could see in one of the, my uh, previous videos. And then I had to actually uh, get used to using it because uh, there, there was a lot of complications that I had with it. Then again, that was my first 3D printer, so I had made all my first mistakes on there. But yeah, you can uh, I'll be leaving links for both of those uh, down below and probably the Creality Ender 3 V2 because that is a new version of the Creality and I'm I'm liking this uh, CR10 V2 because it's it's been uh, has given me no problem so far. So, yeah, check out those links in the description and make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.